So I went to Fosdem, my first Fosdem. First talk here in the go room was, was just great. Unfortunately, the video is not ready yet. One week later. And then I went to JavaScript, the booth, uh, walked around talking to people, ended up in the after party with a next demo. That was a great dick, Nick's demo and Matthew. And helpful people that helped me open up my beer that I bought. <laughs> it was a late one, ended up in delirium. Next day, I took some more footage. As you can imagine, like many others, I struggled to get a coffee and get going on the second day. And uh, I was walking around. I, I did find the whole video set up very good, but... Um, but it was hard to know or monitor outside the room when most rooms were full. Like, for example, I just just struggled to get into the Foz, uh, the Nick's room, sorry. The Nick's room was oversubscribed. I kind of I was happy to sit outside and watch it, but I struggled then, then too. So, second day was like a lot of mulling around and... Uh, okay, this is my embarrassing talk to camera at Foz Devon piece, but... I got the club mark. And this is this this queue here is the best. It's the least amount of people. Um, I, and I, I don't even know how to explain where I am. But here, I'll give you a taste of what you can expect. Mate is always a good idea. Stay caffeinated. Queuing for a coffee is intense at this place. Now we're making the flight over here. So, this is the best thing about Fosdem, just hanging out with people. Just, what do you like about the framework? Just that it's a better, is it really better than a ThinkPad? Uh, no, not really better, but so uh, it's kind of the same, but you've prepared. That's what it comes down to. So I've never had a problem with ThinkPad, uh, touch word, but... We hired an admin that I'm hoping to be able to use financial well, this is the least intense coffee queue I've seen. But that's... People just hanging. The food trucks, the lunchtime food trucks. It's actually a typical place to chat to people because the queues are at least 10 minutes and meet with people. <laughs> Of course, the obligatory Belgian fries while we're in Brussels. They really are actually rather good. I recommend them. Pretty much in the middle of Posdem here. I got that U building behind me. That's where the GoDev talks were yesterday, and they have the AI track there. And, uh, and then over that side, they have like the booths and stuff like that. And then the main J1 is over there. Yeah, this is pretty much the middle of it. Down in the middle. Of course, it's not a real hacker event unless there's some like you know ham radio stuff going on. Um, some guy got a trailer there. Satellite ham radio, and there's a, of course some new Pico T thing going to that building. I don't know what the deal is. cool I think so on Sunday I just keep on coming back to this building here H to try to go to Nick's OS talk but I just haven't been able to get in so here I go third time lucky KDE Gnome I mean oh bloatware where's the cycle I stand I just realized I've missed the boat because it's p.m. now it's all Mozilla stuff. Yeah. Uh, I have to watch the videos online. This looks curious. I thought this was a good flyer. It's a kind of a wild problem to solve, this whole fact-checking chatbot thing, but I guess that's what they're trying to do. Find disinformation. Yes, that's one way to do it, I suppose. This was my biggest Fosdem confusion, was not being able to distinguish between Saturday and Sunday. So 
I, I spent just for far too long looking at the wrong thing when I first got here yesterday. Finally, I found a room with some seats, the lightning talk room, and I just settled in here for quite a while. But my main issue at this event was that I couldn't figure out how to get online. And it was only after the event when someone told me that I needed to have IPv6 enabled. I like the simple life, so I only do IPv4 normally. But it still doesn't explain why my iPhone just couldn't connect either. That's my favorite room. And it's big. And air quality. Okay. So I like talks. All right, next we'll we have Michelle and Mike with Aerodynamic Models flying fast. I've just watched five or six shows and I'm done. Thanks so much, great to be here. Um, uh, I'm Michael Sly, I'm the co-founder uh, and CEO of RealDAP. Just realized there's one building I haven't been to, AW. So I'm going to go check out the AW building. And I also just realized that despite having an external microphone plugged in, I had to manually choose it in the Droid Android menu, otherwise it doesn't get used. So I think now you finally can hear me. Previously you could not. How frustrating. Oh, okay. I think this is, I think I'm done. This is, this is probably my last positive update. Okay, I'm checking out automotive grade li Linux. It's the choice between Flutter, HTML5, or Qt. Cute, HTML5 or Flutter. Ah, I didn't realize this was Flutter. Yes. Flutter is... So what has the best performance? Flutter, I assume, or Cute? No comment. No comment. So one big takeaway for me is that... <laughs> well, we're not there yet, but we're getting quite close to Linux on mobile devices. Like, open type stuff like being usable almost you know you can actually take a call on it quite close and it needs to be close because the mobile device is pretty critical to be open really so I'm all for it I hope I get my Android device running NixOS something like that that would be cool <laughs> goodbye Fosdem goodbye food trucks goodbye oh hi I've lost my voice <laughs> Where's my family? Hey, it's been a blast though. It's been an absolute blast. Recommended.